My name is Lee McClellan, and I'm Associate Editor of Kentucky Field Magazine, the official publication of the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources. <clears throat> Welcome to this week's edition of Inside the Fishing Forecast. If you haven't looked at the fishing forecast in a while, you may notice when you bring it up, it's a totally new look with some added features that are going to help you get more fish in the boat this summer. Summer is the funnest time of year to be on the water. It feels great when you're swimming, but fishing gets a little bit different. So we'll talk about some suggested places to go and help utilize some of these new features. Okay, click on Fishing Forecast under the Fishing tab. And you'll see first, you'll see these wonderful illustrations and paintings that our very talented wildlife artist Rick Hill did of a crappie, smallmouth, hybrid striper, sauger. And you'll notice the, a totally new uh, cover page, and this was the former cover, a uh, picture I took on the Ohio River with Paul Wilkes holding a big fat hybrid last fall. <laughs> so, again, new and expanding fisheries, new and upcoming fisheries was in the last, this is the same stuff. The cheat sheet really helped, especially as we get into here into the summer. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people love largemouth bass. You look under largemouth bass, all of the areas coated orange have good or better largemouth bass populations in them. Another really popular fish during the summer is bluegill. You can look under bluegill and these are all the lakes, and there's quite a few, that have good or better populations of bluegill in them. So if you're after a particular species, going to the cheat sheet will really help you uh, quickly identify the water bodies you may want to fish. But one of the things I've found that's the neatest about the updated version of the fishing forecast is if you click on Barkley Lake and Tailwater, for example, it brings you to the home, the page that's on our Find a Place to Fish page, which is a wealth of information for people planning a fishing trip. So on here, if you click on Lake Barkley Fish Attractors in Google Maps, you have an excellent map showing stake beds, Christmas trees, uh, some of the plastic artificial habitat that lasts a lot longer, um, pallet stacks and other types of habitat. But the other beautiful thing is, is underneath that is the Lake Barkley and all the lakes have it that are, that are applicable, have this uh, fish attractor data that you can download into your phone or into your sonar unit on your boat. And this instantly brings up all the habitat that we've placed in the lake and it'll help you have a better fishing trip. Another thing on here is all the special fishing regulations that apply for Lake Barkley, uh, fishing tournament schedule for this water body, and really important, all the access sites, all the ramps, carry downs, um, fishing piers, all of those for Lake Barkley are located right here. Valuable, valuable information. So go to fw.ky.gov, click on fishing, and then fishing forecast. And you will have a totally new, um, enjoyable resource to help you plan a better fishing trip this summer. Things change in the summer. Things get a little bit more difficult. The water's hotter. Fish aren't along the bank like they were six weeks ago. So in summer, you have to change a little bit. Largemouth bass are going to move offshore. They're going to be on flats that are well away, long sloping points submerged humps, uh, also any drop-offs or ledges. That's really popular on Kentucky Lake and Lake Barkley is fishing those mid-lake ledges, ledges rather, in the summer with really heavy jigs, 10-inch uh, worms, and uh, also heavy spinnerbaits. Very, very productive way to catch fish all summer. Bluegill really come to the forefront now that it's getting hot. Uh, you can fish shoreline weed lines, shoreline cover, Bluegill will stay up shallow most of the time. If you don't have any luck, bottom fish near a weed line or near, say, a submerged tree. And the bluegill sometimes are a little bit off and a little bit deeper, and you can catch them that way. Summer is the best time to wade a stream for smallmouths. And here in Kentucky, we have a wealth of smallmouth streams. If you go under the fishing tab and under recreational fishing, you'll find a brochure of all the smallmouth streams. And you'll find 
excellent repositories of information on our canoeing and kayaking page and also on the Blue Water Trails page which is under the canoeing and kayaking page. That, that has a wealth of information on different floats or ways you can do for stream smallmouth this summer. It's enjoyable, it's cool, and it's fun. Also, catfish will be moving up at night on rocky flats, um, stink bait, uh, hot dogs soaked in a syrup made of a strawberry Kool-Aid, uh, chicken livers all work well at night, especially for channel catfish. And also, tailwater trout like the Cumberland River below Wolf Creek Dam. Great time to fish during the summer. Um, also, we have a, quite a few tailwaters. If you go under the Fishing and Boating Guide, look under the Trout Waters page. We'll have all the tailwaters that you can fish for trout. But the number one one is the Cumberland River below Wolf Creek Dam. So, it's gotten warmer. Things have changed. But you can have good fishing all summer if you're willing to change your ways a little bit. And remember, every fishing trip starts at fw.ky.gov.